what is the difference between win underscore command and win underscore shell Ansible module? These two Ansible modules are confused one for another, but they are fundamentally different. Both modules allow you to execute command on a Windows target host, but slightly in a different way. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. The win underscore command and win underscore shell Ansible module execute commands on the Windows target node. Generally speaking, it's always better to use a specialized Ansible module to execute a task. However, sometimes the only way is to execute a Windows PowerShell or cmd.exe via win underscore command or win underscore shell module. Let me reinforce again, you should avoid as much as possible the usage of win underscore command and win underscore shell instead of a better module. Both modules execute PowerShell or cmd.exe command on Windows target node, but in a sensible different way. The win underscore command module execute the commands on the target machine without using the target shell. It simply execute the command. The target win underscore shell is for example send uh, any PowerShell or CMDXA. It will not be processed through the shell, so variable like uh, $env colon home and operation like uh, minor, major, pipe and uh, comma are not available. On the other side, every command executed with win underscore shell module has all PowerShell or CMDXA feature, so it could be explained in runtime. From the security point of view, win underscore command module is more robust and has a more predictable outcome because it bypasses the shell. Both module returned always changed status because Ansible is not able to predict if the execution has or has not altered the target system. For no Windows target, use the ansible.builtin.command and ansible.builtin shell module instead. The win command module is the default module in Ansible ad hoc mode. Win underscore command module is able to execute only the binary on remote host. The win command module won't be impacted by local shell variable because it bypasses the shell. At the same time, it may not be able to run shell built-in feature and redirection. The win underscore shell Ansible module is potentially more dangerous than the win command module and should only be used when you actually really need the PowerShell or CMDXA functionality. So if you are not uh, using all these capabilities concatenating together, uh, for example, command and whatever, simply don't use. If you are not using this feature, don't use the win underscore shell model. Sometimes is the only way. I know you have no option. Demo time. Let me show you the difference between win underscore command and win underscore shell Ansible module in an Ansible playbook. Welcome to my editor. I'm going to show you one simple Ansible playbook to execute a command on the target machine. For example, netstat. So let's begin our playbook with one play name win underscore command module demo that is going to target host all of my inventory. Two tasks, first is check next 
that is going to execute ansible.windows.win underscore command. The full command is netstat, uh, let me add also dash e, and what we would like to do also, uh, save the result, oh no, this must be on the same line as command. Here we go, we would like to save the result into command underscore output variable. Now you can use it as a regular variable in your Ansible playbook. For example, lay, let me display on screen with ansible.builtin.debug module. We already know this module for printing variable on screen. The variable is command underscore output dot std out underscore line. And here we go. We are able to execute a command from the command line in a remote Windows machine. Unfortunately, Netstat doesn't have any Ansible module, so Win command is the best option. I'm going to show you what is the output from the terminal. Welcome to my Ansible controller terminal. First of all, let me execute my playbook with ansible-playbook. Dash E, let me specify my inventory file as well as a playbook name. In my case, win underscore netstat. The execution is going to be very fast because uh, we are only executing a command and display some text on screen. As you can see, here we have all the line of interfaces statistic, all the bytes received and sent, categorized by the type of uh, interface by a type of program to call. If we execute again, we are going to have a new data, but as you can see, we always get change status because we are executing a command module. So this is Windows command. What about Win shell module? Back on my editor, let's see together one Win shell example concatenating two commands together. So let's start our play with win shell module demo targeting host all of my inventory. On the task list, the first is to check get data, get date, pardon. So ansible.windows.win underscore shell and let me add a multi-line command with a pipe. So first command is hostname and second command is get-date. As you can see, these are PowerShell command. Let me register the output to command underscore output. Again, same story, Ansible variable. The easy things that we can do is to print it out on screen. So like before, ansible.builtin.debug. So we are able to see what is inside command underscore output. Dot std out because we want a standard output line. Done. So as you can see, we concatenate together two command. So basically we are going to execute two command at the same time, hostname and gate date. Welcome back again to my Ansible controller console and let me execute my playbook against uh, again Windows inventory win underscore date is the name of my playbook. The execution will be very fast because Ansible is basically only copy and paste the command to PowerShell. So as you can see first line is the hostname and third line is the data. So every time we execute, we are going to receive a slightly different result, but still change status. So now you know how you can execute multiple command on PowerShell with win underscore shell. And what if we mess it up a little bit? I'm going to show you. 
What if, for example, we substitute win shell with win command? Let's sort it out. Command and here also command. Command. Here we go. So now I was substituting win command to win shell and try to execute two PowerShell command one after another. Is going to work? Let's see it together. So I was saving the file with a different name. So for example, win date underscore command. Let me execute again the same command. Let me remind you, we were expecting host name and uh, data, but we are going to have only the first command executed. So only host name. Now I think you deeply understand what is the difference between win command and win shell. And you can use in your Ansible playbook every day. Now you know the difference between win underscore command and win underscore shell Ansible module and their use case. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, see us on the next adventure of Ansible Pilot and have a great day! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun!